Hello everyone. Thank you for your interest in Manu Partnership Program. In the series of videos, we will guide you through the process of creating a game with Manu so you can make the game of your own and earn money from your creations. This is the second part of the tutorial we made for you. We will start by importing the Manu Coin Prefab, which is a pre-made collectible prefab. We are going to import two instances of the same prefab and we detach both. The first one will be used as a battery collectible and the second one will be used as the gears collectible. We make sure to rename both to be easier to work with. Let's focus on the battery collectible for now. Move the collectible to a different position, somewhere where it is easy to work with it. We drag and drop the battery model from the Sci-Fi Assets prefab and place it in the model group folder of the collectible. We also set the position of all axes to zero. You can now delete the coin mesh. You can drop any model inside that folder to customize your collectible. The model folder is assigned with the collectible tag. Remove this and manually create a new one. Let's call it energy. In the collect animation, we import the main character in the timeline and we add the battery variable. We will add a small amount of battery each time the character collects a battery collectible. Since we want the battery level to always max at 100, we add an if function. This is how it works. When the battery level is equal to 80 or less, we will just add 20 units to the battery variable. Otherwise, we will just set the battery level to the max, which is 100 in our case. In the game, the player loses battery level from spikes and on double jump, and the battery level is increased when a battery is collected. If you want a healing or filling of the battery effect, you can import the cross particles prefab from the marketplace. To make it work, drag and drop it inside the model of the main character and give it some height on the y-axis. This is a pre-made visual effect only animation you can use for any purpose. Change the color or even the particles model themselves. In the Triggers tab, add a Collision Started Trigger. Set the collision between the main character and the Energy tag we previously created. This will ensure that this animation will be triggered when the main character starts colliding with anything tagged with Energy. We will now work with the Gears Collectible. As we did previously, we delete the coin model, and in its place, we drag and drop the gears model located inside the sci-fi assets. We set the position to zero in all three axes. In the collect animation, we add the main character in the timeline 
and we also add a keyframe for the gears variable. In the value, we add one to the current value of the gears variable. To display the gears variable information, we will work again inside the menu user interface. To begin with, we duplicate the collectibles UI group inside the menu prefab and move it down in the Y axis by 0.7. We don't need the hundreds digit, so we can delete it for this one. We copy the gears model and paste it inside the collectibles UI2 group that we just duplicated. We will also position the model in a preferred place. Inside the display collectibles of the animation's internal group, we will delete the no object entry and the energy bar, and we will simply change the raw value from battery to gears to make the animation display the gears variable. In the game, the player now can collect the gears and the information is displayed in the user interface. It is always a good practice to include some information about how to play the game. We place a plane primitive inside the main camera, rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees, move it on the z-axis to minus 2.2 and scale it down to 60%. Make sure the constraint proportion is enabled to scale down all axes equally. Create a basic material and import the texture with the instructions. In the game, we can see the instructions screen, but the player can move and the energy and gears user interface is enabled by default. Disable the main character. Disable Collectibles UI and Collectibles UI 2. These will trigger On Enable and On Disable animations to play. Everything inside the On Enable animation will be enabled when Collectibles UI 2 is enabled. Add the gears that we placed in the user interface and click on Enable All Child Elements. Copy the gears track and paste it inside the on disable animation. Set the enable all child elements to off. Like this, we can enable or disable all child elements under the specific group. We repeat the process for the collectibles UI, but this time we add the battery in the timeline and we enable all child elements of the battery. We also added the timeline and enabled the energy bar. We add the battery and the energy bar in the timeline of the on disable animation. Set the enable all child elements to off and disable the energy bar. We manually disable the battery and all its child elements, the gears and all its child elements, and all the digits assets inside the collectibles UI and collectibles UI 2. We do this because we want to have them hidden at the beginning of the game. We will make an animation to enable back these elements with a press of a button. 
we create a new animation for the instructions image. We can call it Start. We add the instructions image in the timeline and disable it. We add the main character to the timeline and enable it. We add the Collectibles UI and Collectibles UI2 groups and enable them both. By enabling Collectibles UI groups, we make sure we trigger the corresponding on enable animations that enable all child elements of each part of the user interface. Switch to the Triggers tab and add an Object Enabled Continuously trigger. Set it to the Instructions image. Add a key press trigger and bind it to the Enter key. Make sure the triggers are connected with an AND operator because we want both triggers to be valid to start the animation. This will limit the player from pressing Enter after the Instructions image gets disabled. In the game, the player presses the Enter key the instructions image gets disabled, the UI appears, and the player can move. Stay tuned. In the next video, we will finish the game and publish it to our marketplace.